Mayday, mayday, we're going down. We're going down, I repeat, we're going down. Deploy, deploy. On you guys my flying vehicle transporter I'm trying to make something like this for around like three years maybe and every time I failed and made something very bad so I'll show you guys uh, yeah so this is what I originally started out with like a couple years ago <laughs> I started out with this and back then I was playing on I'm pretty sure a laptop so my frames were like 10 so I had to remove it but anyway this is the new version and as you can see big improvements so uh, as you saw I hope you guys enjoyed that little beginning scene there when you first go in there's a little ramp that greets you inside and as you can see it is very spacious and keep in mind we have lights oh my god amazing we have a bunch of seats because this is multi crew transport as well as vehicles that orange check mobile inside the transport let's roll on up as you can see boom so we're in all right so now all we got to do is hit this button right here that will lock up the back you can see boom we're locked in I'd be a little bit off center there we go just uh you know smack it with the hammer it's fine <laughs> but there's a little rail guard just in case you know the creations go they get stopped what we can do is wait, there's actually a second floor how do we get up there you may ask we use the elevators inside the things two of them as well as you can see by all the thrusters you may know this is a flying creation as you can see the landing gear automatically go up and yeah we can just fly around with our transport here as you can see it may tilt a little bit because there's extra weight in the front cargo area turn left turn right we can also uh tilt away so a certain way pull up pull up pull up not good not good there's actually another one of these flying about but um i lost it so maybe we might find it while i'm recording this i don't know so i'm gonna show you guys just really quick i'm gonna turn off the forward thrusters and what i'm going to do hit seven and let and let go one as you can see this is kind of like the auto landing slash hover feature now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hop into this i'm going to press this and hop in here as you can see we uh, fall right out um oh i didn't think about this wait this thing can't fly um great our creation is slowly but surely coming down so i'm just gonna keep rolling keep driving oh no you've got to be joking me uh oh um yeah oh no that's gonna that's gonna get, oh 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 i spent 2.2 .2 billion on that um i'm kidding what no one's scuba diving guys all right I'm jump out put that there I just did like a 360 no scope basically <laughs> like jumped out grabbed my flying uh, transport and then I also grabbed the mech <laughs> and then both, oh yeah so also because I was trying to figure out how to get the mech inside of this what I figured out is I could just weld it to the wall then detach it from the wall and then pick it up so now it's always uh, sitting like this as you can see it fits in I meant to put this in the last video, but I did not. Someone gave me a suggestion, I'll put their uh, name on the screen right now, for a attachment for my uh, utility tractor. And I actually made it, but I forgot to put it in the last video, so I'm going to put it in this one. I'm going to go down, then I'm going to activate the auto landing. I'm going to do that now. Now what I can literally do is I can just hop out, do whatever I want, and we'll slowly fall down. As you can see, I'm not pressing any buttons, as you can hear, I guess. And another good feature about this, if I have it, oh yeah, we can't have this active, but it will automatically, I'll show you guys just to make sure, just to make sure it's working, but, so as you can see, it's, so if I disable the 7, as soon as I lift off, it, the door will auto-close, I will point that out. 
but if you want ha if you want to have manual override you can hit five but so as you can see it seems to be fault and so now as soon as I get close to the ground and I let go the door will open by itself if that switch is not on tractor mark two specifically I do want to point out I did make the laser saw that person suggested so what I did is I put two um I was figure out how I was gonna how I was gonna do this so I put two laser cutters and I made them spin with an electric engine then we're gonna go forward in low power mode then we're going to go okay now we go loop in then we're gonna lock in then we're gonna hit that to get those uh, supports away tilt in there we go and now so the lifting works but as soon as you hit this button the magic will happen Oh, he changed the color of the saw, but it, it was originally blue, but now it's yellow. I like that. But yeah, so this is the laser saw. I'm happy they made it orange. I, I like this. It's actually really, really cool. But I wonder if I color it, will it change color? Oh my god. I didn't know you could do that. These are customizable. So I can have, like, just white lasers. So I didn't know that. You can switch these to any color. Yeah, my developer, um, I'll, again, I'll, I'll put your name up on screen as well. That, that's amazing. That, I, I love that. That is a amazing feature. I'm sorry, Mac. So, um, I'm gonna have to lift it up. There's no traction, dang it. No traction. Come on, cut in. It's doing a little bit of damage. It may not be as effective, but... See, if I get on, a uh, flat terrain... Actually, I'm, I'm gonna do that really quick. Boom, and then pull up. Might change the way this works as well, where it goes that way and then pulls back the butt. So I can turn on the laser saw, bring it up. So since I already have some uh, debris and stuff that needs to be cut, we'll cut it with the saw blades here, dual saw blades. And then you can lower it and then do some really, real good damage. Saw is not as effective, but as you can see, it does kind of uh, eat through the material there. So as you can see, you can just lift it up, go back down, do a bit of work. Yeah, I, I could definitely make this better, and I think I will eventually. Ooh, it's pretty good damage. And I would like to make this automatic, the uh, attachment uh, activation. I already have an idea. Definitely not including sensors. Ooh. Yeah, that is about it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more content just like this. And yeah, see ya. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.